Welcome to Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Y2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down Team Plasma's operation, and in today's episode, we are going to be making our way towards Route 23 and Victory Road. It's exciting time, guys. We are very close to entering the Pokemon League, and I'm hoping that we can make it there today. Now, if you guys remember, uh, they uh, Tommy actually told us that we needed to make our way back to where we first met in the Giant Chasm, and that's where we're going to be going. I kind of know where I'm going. A lot of you guys have given me some really, really great tips. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. The main tip I received from you guys is be careful because it's going to be a super long and hard victory road. I think this is one of the longest ones. I've actually had the chance to talk to a lot of friends and people like that. And they've told me that it's actually a really, really difficult one. Um, as you can see, we just ran past that trainer who we hadn't battled before. Because I do go back and I do battle some of the trainers which we haven't before. So I'm going to show you guys some of the level ups. As you can see, Nagini, Astro, Barky, Aza, Nadar, and Mirth. Everyone's level 55 and Barky's 56. They've also learned a couple new moves here and there. Which I'll be showing to you guys as we make our way through here. Okay, so we're in the giant chasm. If you guys remember, we met Tommy up right here last time. But there's actually one more thing that I want to take care of from the tips that you guys have given me. You said that there's a really good move here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually teach strength to one of our Pokemon. And we're going to need that in order to get this move. I think it's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, because the move that is coming up is going to be honestly pretty priceless once we make our way into the Pokemon League. I know that we have a lot of challenges ahead of us. And I'm just really hoping that... You know, our team will be ready. There's a lot of things that we still need to do. Um, and hopefully, you know, by the time we get to the Pokemon League, uh, we'll have taken care of all of it. Okay, so right up here, we're going to have to surf. But you told me that we're going to be going in search of a TM, which we hadn't found before. So that's kind of cool. I am actually looking forward to this TM. Uh, it's usually very, very hard to get. But there we go. We got TM13 Ice Beam. And it's actually very, very easy to get in this game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and actually teach Ice Beam to one of our Pokemon. You guys probably already know who I'm going to go ahead and teach it to. Now, where is TM13? TM13 Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Where? 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 There it is. TM thir number 13. And we're going to be teaching that to Nadar. Okay. So now, as you guys know, Nadar is water flying. And now this move should help us out a ton. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of Rain Dance. Rain Dance hasn't been helping us all that much. I don't think I've even used it once in battle. So for now, I think Ice Beam will definitely be a better choice for it. Now, we are ready to finally make our way to Route 23, where this adventure will really begin. I've also bought a ton of Hyper Potions, a bunch of Repels. I've stocked up in pretty much every department possible I, I bought as many things as i could because i know from here on out things are gonna get very difficult uh so thanks for all your tips i'm actually really really excited for all that's to come um and we'll see how it goes i'm kind of looking forward to making our way through victory road i know it's a little bit different than all the other ones we've experienced together so we'll see how this one goes right up here you, as you can see on the left side of the giant chasm there's a little path and we have made it to route 23 ladies and gentlemen so this is where the adventure is really going to kick off because we are on our way towards Victory Road. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid as many trainers as possible. You guys know that I do that. Um, and it's honestly just kind of like a time thing um, because I, I think it might be a little bit more difficult for us to make our way through here if we just start getting a lot of battles. Um, my team's pretty, te you know, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty trained up. So if we can just skip a bunch of battles, we got one. Here we go. Alright, so if that goes to show you of how the battles are going to go today, they're going to be really, really difficult. And I'm hoping that, you know, we can do it without too much trouble. Maybe make our way through, you know, not get ourselves in a lot of uh, problems here. If I'm correct, I think, I think there's a, yeah, there's a trainer there. Now, there's like two sides. Of, oh, mother fudge. Okay, I'm going to have to go back down the stairs. Ah, oh, come on. I really thought I was making it through here without too much trouble. Let's keep on going then. Ah, this is such a long victory road as you might be able to tell already. Um, is there a trainer coming up? I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Yeah! Look at me doing it right. And if I'm correct, we have made it to victory road, guys. 
So here it is. Let's go ahead and proceed on. Oh, what? N? You came. The Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon. That's how I understood it, and that's why I hated battles. But it's not that simple. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers, it's true. Yet they do so much more. Your Pokemon, you, your opponents, and their Pokemon. Everyone can see what wonderful things the others have to contribute. That's right. Accepting different ideas, different beings changes the world like a chemical reaction. Pokemon battles are like a catalyst, a small component that leads to big changes. My friend Reshiram taught me that, and it's the formula I've been derived from traveling the world. I want you to think for yourself about what it means. Here, take this with you. The new Victory Road has areas that are only accessible with Waterfall. There we go, guys! We have obtained HM05 Waterfall! So sweet! Yes, if it's your Pokémon and you, you will get past the Pokémon League and recognize your own truth. That's what I see in store for you. Thanks, Zen. We'll be seeing you later, hopefully. And it seems like we're making our way through the gate checks. The first one is the Basic Badge. The second badge is the Toxic Badge. The third badge is the Insect Badge. The fourth one is the Bolt Badge. The fifth one is the Quake Badge. The sixth one is the Jet Badge. The seventh one is the Legend Badge. And last but not least, the eighth badge check is the Wave Badge, guys. So with that, we are walking through the black and white road, and it seems like we have made it to Victory Road, guys. It's been a long way. All eight badges are finally collected here in Unova, and we are ready to proceed on through these humongous gates uh, and follow our destiny. Uh, I'm actually really, really excited. The gates have collapsed, and it's our turn to keep on going. I'm definitely going to use a repel. Oh, I'm nervous. What, what is over here to the right? It says the Pokemon League is through this tunnel. Now, there's a tunnel here to the right, as you can see. Uh, I don't really know what that tunnel is, but I am going to go ahead and go through this one because um, I think this one is probably the right way to go about it. I am not completely sure, but that's what I'm gonna go with. And it looks like we have ourselves a battle. All right, so there we go. Let's continue onwards then. Uh, which way exactly is it that we need to go? I think we're gonna have to push this boulder down. Uh, thank goodness we have strength. I don't really know what that other path was. It almost makes you a little bit nervous because what if it was a shorter path? What if this one is just a longer one and now we're taking it for no reason? I don't even know it. Just ah, mother fudge! Okay, there we go. Maybe we can actually make our way out of this place now and continue on here. Okay, so it looks like we have made it to another part of this route, 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 route. Yes, okay, let's continue on. I finally managed to make it through one of the sections without having to battle anyone. Mother fudge. Seriously, do you know how hard this uh, this victory road is? I'm, I'm absolutely like a little bit confused. Because it seems like there's so much going on here. I've never been through a victory road that actually goes to different stages. Um, and it seems like this might be one of the first one that has done it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and heal up our team. Um, I think we'll be okay coming up, but it's just a precaution. It doesn't matter, though. I have, like, 40 hyper potions. I've really stocked up well. And I think we'll be pretty much good to go. So, I'm going to heal up my team uh, as much as possible. You know, we'll, we'll do that. And then uh, we'll be able to continue on. Now, I, I really don't like having Nagini up in front. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. The Pokemon we've been having up, um, Barky's been doing a pretty good job against them. So, I'm going to go ahead and put Barky up in front. And we have ourselves a battle. Never mind. We don't have ourselves a battle. 
Um, great. No, I don't want to use another repel. Let's head inside then. Oh, wait. What the heck? I am going to have to use another repel because why? With this never-ending road of torture, when will we get out of here? I miss Nurse Joy. I miss my, my house and my, my friends and everybody that allows me to mother fudge. All right, so there's that. Let's keep moving. Oh, man. What are, what are these? The double mint twins over here? Ah, oh, are you serious? I'm going to have to battle them. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a doubles battle. Okay, so we keep on moving now that we've took them down, and huh, I don't know what exactly it is to the right side, but I'm going to keep moving up. Uh, what I've realized about Pokemon games is that you always got to keep moving up, no matter what is on the side next to you. What the heck is this? What is this? I don't know where I'm going. What the heck? Why is it so dark in this cave? I don't have an electric type on my team this time around. How I can't see. Wait, am I going the right way? Am I going the right? Oh my gosh, dude! Ah, I made it! Okay, I, I think I went the right way for once. Who would have freaking thought that one out? Hey, we got ourselves a Dragon Fang too! Finally, I'll actually be giving that one to Mirth. Sweet, guys, we're actually not doing too shabby. Aw, oh, dang it, are we really gonna have a, ourselves a battle? Like, I'm, I'm so close, guys. Like, I feel it. I can pretty much sense that it's, like, right around the corner. And, of course, the game is gonna make me have, like five battles before it you know that's that's what the game does to you just let me let me just throw out like five battles right before you make it to the pokemon league where you're gonna have another five battles ready to go okay so it looks like we're gonna have to take this guy on forcefully uh it yeah yeah ooh, well, I, no i'm yeah i'll use repel why not all right and yeah we have a battle All right, so there we go. We defeated that one. It looks like we have another battle. So there we go, guys. We finally defeated these two random trainers. And where are we? Oh, okay. So I know where we're at right now. We're actually about to have one of the tougher battles here in this area. Um, you guys actually did give me a heads up on this one. So thank you, guys. You told me that we're going to have a rival battle coming up as soon as I started seeing some construction work signs. And I believe it is this area that we are currently at. So well, I guess we're about to find out um, if, we are about, if we're going to have a rival battle. And I'm pretty sure after the rival battle, we'll pretty much have made it through Victory Road, which is really, really great. I'm kind of excited to make it out of here. I think we all are so we can get to the Pokemon League. And let's see. Wait up! I'll battle with you before you take on the Pokemon League. The more Pokemon battles you have, the stronger you get, right? 
Here we go, Rodri versus Tommy. Let's go ahead and take on our rival one more time before we make our way to the Pokemon League. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Tommy. He only has four Pokemon, really? I, you'd think he'd have more than that by now. I mean, we've kind of been on this journey for quite a while. Eight gyms, Team Plasma, some legendary Pokemon, and weird guy with green hair. We've been through quite a bit, I guess. He just hasn't found two other team members that really are for his liking, I suppose. Wow, that did a ton. Sweet. I saw that move coming from miles away. Did you, dude? Because I'm pretty sure I'm like two feet away from... Mother fudger! Are you serious? Ah! I hate when they use those max potions. Well, you know, it's better that he takes it out now. I'd rather he use the max potions early and that we can just whoop his butt after that. Ah, uh, there we go. With that, his first Pokemon is going to be down. See you later, on Fazon. What you got next, Tommy? What you got coming up? Let's see. Ooh, Nadar. Wow, man. Nadar is really up there. Ooh, Buffalon's coming up. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Ace Row. Ace Row needs to get a little more XP. Uh, some of our Pokemon have a lot more training on them um, from this route compared to the others. So I'm going to go for the Aura Sphere, which is one of those moves that I want to tell you guys that we got. You saw me use it a couple times here before, um, but it's absolutely, it's an amazing move. I'm so happy we got it. It's absolutely incredible. And, ah, oh, Buffalant and their Earthquakes. Holy crap. Well... We should be able to land the Aura Sphere before. Hey, so if anything, at least we won our battle. Uh, you know, we did take a 142 hit HP worth of damage. But, hey, we, we defeated him. Next is Embor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm going to do for Embor. Come on out, Nadar. Level 58, you overpowered little bird. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Honestly, don't. I started him, what, at level like 55, 56? I guess there's just so many dang trainers on this victory road that your Pokemon are going to get juiced. Uh, it should be all right, though. I mean, I think some of the Pokemon in the Pokemon League are actually a lot stronger. Uh, so we should be okay going into it. Wow, that did a ton, too. Let's go for another Surf, and that'll take down the Embor. And now, what was Tommy's last Pokemon? Because it's been a while since we've took on Tommy, so I don't just... I don't remember exactly. Ooh, a Simipore. Well, that's nice. Perfect for Nagini. Come on out, Nagini. Oh, wow. This was a really easy battle. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but honestly, it didn't. Um, we actually made our way through the victory road um, in a very, very efficient manner. Didn't take us too long. Hopefully, it didn't take us too long. I don't know how long it took us. You guys do. I do not. Oh, come on already. I hate when Pokemon don't get KO'd and... Like, you know you're going to take him down the next hit. Just go down. We'll put everything on the line for this move, right, partner? All right, go for it. We're going to go for the Giga Drain. And with that, guys, we're going to be taking down our rival Tommy's last Pokemon. So there we have it, guys. Pretty easy battle. Not too hard for us. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Tommy. Phew, you're really something. We got 5,700 for winning. Rodri, thanks to you, I accomplished what I set out to do during my journey. I wish I could have shown you my little sister's huge smile. This is my thanks. Sweet, TM24 Thunderbolt, we don't have an electric type. I think you're really amazing, so become the champion. Get the proof that you're a trainer your Pokemon can be proud of. See ya. See you later, Tommy. And wow, that was really, really inspirational there from a rival. That, that actually really, really was. And okay, guys, we have made it to... What we've been waiting for for a long time, the Pokemon League. So next up, guys, we are ready to make our way inside and challenge the Elite Four as well as the Champion. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.